We're at SF MoMA and we're looking at uh, Marcel Duchamp. This is Fountain, which he originally made in 1917, but mm -hmm. which he remade in 1964. The original was gone. Thrown yeah. away or yeah. who knows what. So this is a small series that was made in 1964 after that original work of 1917 and he oversaw the making of this I think we series. need to be really careful with the word making. <laughs> okay. And, uh, I'm going to go there. What Duchamp did, of course, is he went to a plumbing supply house that was called Mott, Mott and <laughs> um, purchased this. And okay, he, so he didn't make it. Right, so he made it as a work of art through the alchemy of the artist, transformed yeah. this. He turned the urinal on its side right. and, and signed it R. Mutt and dated it. And submitted it to an art exhibition for a new group that he was a founding member of, the American Society for Independent Artists. And their notion was that the juried exhibition that was prevalent in the United States and New York at this time, and remember, Duchamp had just come over from Paris, was in fact a real problem because the jury always selected the traditional work that they they were associated with. And this new group wanted to bring in new possibilities. Right, so they were supposed to accept every work that was submitted, but they rejected this one. Well, I think he was really pushing the boundaries. He's, well, he submitted it as sculpture, Well, I and if, it, which to me is even more remarkable, because when you think about sculpture, it has an even more monumental, grand heroic tradition, yes. tradition than even than painting, to take this urinal and turn it on its side. Some art historians have dealt with this in the most absurd way, talking about its formal qualities with its shiny its curves, porcelain surface. But it's a urinal, although it is transformed. And this is, of course, what Duchamp called a ready-made. Well, you used the word alchemy before, and I think that that's an interesting word because one of the ways we can think about what art is, is a kind of transformation of ordinary materials into something really wonderful that transports us and that makes us see things in a new way. And though he didn't make anything, he is asking us to see the urinal in a new way, not necessarily as an aesthetic object, but to make us ask those philosophical questions about what art is and what the artist does. But he separates craftsmanship and its relationship to the aesthetic, to aesthetic enjoyment and to the profundity of a work of art. Just absolutely throwing right, that Right, that's out the, the philosophical window. question he wants to open up. Does art have to be made by the hand of the artist? And of course he's doing it in the most absurd way by putting a urinal forward, calling it fountain. So what is art? Is it the idea? Is it the concept? Can an artist just have the idea and not make the object? Can art be pure philosophy, pure theory? Exactly. Mm -hmm.